This is Greg Vincent with Top Producer Radio talking to Alan Moe, to a meteorologist in Chicago, and you're based at the Chicago Board of Trade, Alan, but you're watching the weather situation pretty closely here in the Midwest, wet weekend across much of the area, but what are we looking here for the next um, couple days and out week to 10 days? Well, Greg, I think that uh, we've had a pretty good window open up uh, over the last uh, week's period for particularly the uh, uh, western Corn Belt in Iowa, Minnesota area. That's where we had some fairly strong gusty winds and some uh, extreme warming, record warmth. And that area has started out also a little bit drier for uh, the last month's period. Uh, also, this uh, weather moved east and gave us some very good drying over the last week's period uh, across Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio record warmth and gusty uh, winds out of the south. Now we've had this front that has caused uh, additional precipitation to now fall over some of these drier areas in Minnesota and Iowa with as much as three inch totals over the past uh, two days and this front is now going to close that window for the central and eastern corn belt giving uh, rains over the next two-day period and even into the Ohio River Valley for our third day. So the window is closing now for the Illinois, Indiana area. I think over the next uh, nine to ten days we will see additional precipitation in the western Corn Belt, Minnesota, Iowa region, but much lighter and uh, more sparse than over the central belt. So. Uh, as we go into middle of May, I think we're going to see catching up to the five-year planting averages for Minnesota and Iowa, but not so for Illinois and Indiana, which will probably still be lagging for planting progress of both corn and beans into the middle part of May. So, so looking at the north, we could be looking at some uh, needed rainfall, or not maybe not needed, but some definitely appreciated rainfall. Well, actually, yes, uh, it does change very quickly from that time where you don't want the rain to the time you do want the rain. I think, though, that we almost had uh, ideal conditions for much of Minnesota and Iowa having started out relatively dry, having gotten some precipitation, particularly recently. So uh, I think they are in much better shape than we are across portions like northern Missouri, uh, most of Illinois, and Indiana where we have uh, two wet conditions and we really can't get into the fields quite yet and we really want to be dry, drier there and uh, somewhat uh, wetter in the uh, western corn belt. So I think what's going to happen though is we will see uh, uh, favorable conditions for the northwestern belt, uh, Minnesota and Iowa, but not so favorable conditions over the next uh, week uh, to 10 days out for the central and eastern corn belt. You mentioned a window we may see here in, in Illinois and Indiana and potentially Missouri over the next um, couple weeks. Well, yeah, but not right away. That's mm -hmm. where we see the focus of attention uh, right on through the first week of May, the way it looks. Uh, is again, the next 10 days, I think we'll see the focus of attention in uh, portions of Missouri, uh, also central and southern Illinois, and mainly central and southern Indiana. Uh, these areas are still too wet for many to get into the fields. They've had the small window, as I mentioned, over the last week's period, uh, advancing uh, some progress there, but uh, it closes for at least until the middle of uh, May, or, or I should say we really won't be caught up to the averages, I think, five-year averages until at least the middle of May. And hopefully this window opens again around the fourth or fifth of the month and uh, keeps open for a while. I base that on particularly going into northwesterly flow aloft, which is always a good thing. This time of year, uh, it uh, keeps things a little bit on the drier side. It keeps those real heavy rains from occurring in a, a, a band on an east-west band and really uh, it gives uh, uh, better chances for drying uh, when you have northwesterly flow, and I think we'll be going into that for the uh, uh, after the first week of May. So when people look at this, maybe there might be some concerns about a repeat of 2008. I don't think we're there yet. Is that um, that that true? 
Absolutely. We had some uh, six, seven, eight inch uh, rains, uh, flooding that we've never seen before, record flooding in parts of Iowa, even into uh, southeast Minnesota and western Wisconsin. Also a second area last season uh, that hit across uh, southeastern Illinois into Indiana. So two very distinct areas across the heart of the Corn Belt that just really kept us out of the fields uh, well into June. And I think it was just lucky that uh, we were able to get the weather at the end of the growing season to, to really bring home the crop. I think genetics, a little luck, and uh, hard work uh, made that season last year, but it certainly wasn't the weather that helped for the early part of the year. We're not seeing anything like that, no signs like that. Now, I think when you do see uh, two, three, four-inch rains, that's about all you're going to get out of these systems. And that's enough. Uh, I think we won't see a repeat of that over the next two-week period, and that takes us into uh, relatively uh, better conditions than last time this year. So people getting antsy to get into the field, probably the best word for them right now is just patience? I, th I think so. Uh, I think some are going to uh, be quite happy uh, in Minnesota and Iowa, and uh, I think uh, they'll have to have the patience, particularly for portions of Indiana and Illinois, the way it looks now. But uh, the sun will be shining uh, many days in May, and I think it's uh, not like last year at all. Okay. Uh, any, anything else, Alan, you want to leave people with? No, I, I think uh, um, if they need additional weather information, QT is right on the, uh, <laughs> on the cusp of all the latest, uh, anywhere from near-term to long-range forecasts. So, uh, Please keep in touch with us. All right. That's Alan Moe, too, with QT Weather. He's uh, stationed at the Chicago Board of Trade in, in um, the heart of the Midwest and right where the action's taking place. So, Alan, I appreciate your time. You're welcome. Thank you.